everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give me some thumbs up if you like this video today I wanted to show you how do I prepare Hippocrates soup or Gerson therapy soup so I live in the UK and I'll explain you a little bit where I bought all of the things obviously organic uh, potatoes are not really hard to buy uh, mine are not organic I just use whatever I've got at home once I use them, then I'll buy some organic potatoes. If you have organic potatoes, don't peel the skin. Just cook them as they are. Uh, but because mine are not organic, I'm going to peel the skin and cut them. Uh, onions, if you can get organic, get organic, regular onions as well. As I said, celery, yuck, pretty much impossible to get it organic. But if you can't get it somewhere at the farmer's market or somewhere, then get organic. I'm going to use health for my soup today. Uh, leek. I'm going to use two of those. Some shops sell them organic, so go for organic option if you can. Chicory, I bought it in Morrison's and I haven't seen anywhere else at any other shop than Morrison's, so I stick to Morrison's with buying chicory and organic tomatoes, also from Morrison's, but many shops sell organic tomatoes, so uh, wherever you find them, that's good. Uh, organic uh, garlic, you're going to need like, I think, two cloves. And we're gonna need some water at the end. Uh, I use zero water filter, but um, of course it's up to you whatever water you're gonna use. Don't use tap water. Uh, best would be reverse osmosis water or zero, zero filter water. Some people say uh, this is very expensive option to use. Uh, I read it somewhere that it, they think it's very expensive. Well, I don't agree with it, especially that well, it depends maybe where you live. If you live somewhere where the where water is really contaminated, then you have to replace the filter very often, probably. I use, I live in the UK and I replace my filter once a month. And one filter costs around 11 or 12 pounds, depends how many you buy. I go always for the biggest option, so uh, I, buy, I buy them in bulk, so it's the cheapest that way and I pay 11 pound per month. I don't think 11 pound per month it's a huge sacrifice when it comes to water. I use this water for cooking, for drinking, for brushing my teeth, for anything important like I even pour it in my kettle. Um, so I, I boil this water, I make teas, coffees and everything uh, like that. So 11 pound per month and you don't get contaminated water. This takes out everything from your water, like all of the minerals, even the good ones. So there's like nothing in here. But water is highly contaminated with heavy metals. So in my opinion, this is a really, really good thing. And you're gonna need a perfectly clear water for your soup. So you have to do your own research, what kind of water you're gonna put in your soup, but it needs to be really a good quality one. So let's make uh, our soup. Let's get started. I'm gonna start from uh, potatoes. You need to wash them and I'll cut them. I'll show you how I do it. So here are my potatoes. I cut them. I cut four potatoes into little squares. doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's gonna be blended anyway, uh, but pretty much it looks like this. So I'm gonna put them in our pot. Here is my celery egg, so I cut it half of it and I cut them in small squares. And again, I'm gonna add it to my pot. So I'm gonna cut some leeks and it's very important to wash them properly, cut them half to see if there is no dirt and wash in a cold water. I'll show you how I do it like this to make sure that there's no soil or any dirt in there. And I wash them. Here is my leek, it smells amazing. So I cut it in small pieces, not too small. And I'm gonna add them into the rest of the soup and the next one is going to be chicory and it, i'm going to cut it the same way like i did with leek just need to wash it first very well 
smell very strong like garlic. So I added all of the products. I've got two cloves of garlic. I don't cut them. I just put them like this. And now we're gonna add some water. Obviously you don't have to add water if you don't want to, but it's gonna be hard to cook it for four hours without burning it, without any water. So I add quite a lot of water because I'm gonna cook it for four hours on a very, very low uh, heat. And I don't add any anything else to it. I know some people like adding uh, some spices, uh, but because we want to do the recipe according to Dr. Gerson, then you shouldn't add anything. And once it's cooked, you need to use food meal. I don't have one, so I'm, I'm just gonna show you how I do it without food meal. Uh, but if you have one, then it's gonna be much easier and you're gonna get um, best from this soup. So I'm going to put that on the stove for four hours now. So here is my ready soup. It looks like this, it's barely any water there. So uh, if you have a food meal, the best is to use food meal. Uh, you got the best quality. I don't have, so I just drain it and I'll uh, get the water, like the, the liquidy part. So this is what my soup looks like, it's just mainly liquid and I put a few potatoes, I took them out and as you can see there's a little bit left, not much for tomorrow, it's really good, I like the taste of it. The potatoes are optional, you obviously don't have to take them out and put them here. You Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. I hope you enjoyed your soup. If you cooked with me, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Give me some thumbs up if you liked my video and I'll see you soon uh, in the next video. Bye!